these shelves we've understood from the top and the front again so we should be able to get something that looks like this. You could turn this around if you wanted this shelf to face out in the room this way. Maybe you'd say that shelf unit would be drawn into something like this. Of course I wouldn't place them like that in the room because I couldn't really walk in between there and the bookshelf, but My goal this week is to get these all drawn in. So this comes a third, a third, a third. Well, if this is a half, then what happens here at the half, maybe that's where this board comes, right? Or close to that. So maybe I'm going to divide this into thirds or halves or something so that I can figure out in between here and there is going to be a third, so I'm going to say this is the top shelf. I'm going to give it thickness already. Come down vertically and create a thickness there. The next shelf I want to be right about here. I want it to come out this long. So I'm going to say that's the side of it. Mashing point left here until I hit this line. Is that right? Let's see. Come this way to the back corner. Gotta have my back corner, my footprint worked out, don't I? It's gonna hit the back corner there and then come out this direction and sit here. And then I need a third shelf here. It's going to come all the way to the end of this box. This doesn't feel right. This feels to be outside of my box. Why? I guess I'm okay. Maybe when I draw this in, it'll start to make more sense to me. Oh, yeah. Is he going to disappear down under there somewhere? Unless I'm forgetting, it seems like it had three shelves and then a stick here. Piece of wood, left vanishing point, right vanishing point down here. Those are the kind of details that are going to be important to me. The bottom of this should line up with the bottom of this one on its way to left vanishing point. So this should come away from left and up, and then this should go towards right and up. Over here there's a piece of wood behind these that comes all the way to the floor and it should be the same length as this on its way to right vanishing point. So I'm going to end it right there. Give it a thickness. Bring it back to left vanishing point until I see it disappear under there. This needs to come off to left vanishing point. This comes to left vanishing point and this comes to left vanishing point. Looks like in this corner I'm going to see something there, but not underneath there. And then the supports under here, this one came out, I can find the center by Xing, came out like to there and then came down and hits this table. I'm going to take, I'm going to walk around in here. I'm going to come out this way, down to the table, across, then I'm going to push it back just a little bit and say it's going to be like right there. So there's a board right here, vanishing point left, and vanishing point right until I hit this spot, and then that's going to come up there. Nice. Now that I want to continue down this way until it hits this table and comes out this direction, so I am going to see it under there. Just a tiny bit. But it's going to come further out than that, so it's going to come out to here, let's say, then drop down, so wherever that hits this. 
and then vanishing point left and up and up to show that support board in there. I feel like it's not in the middle of this, so I could take this board and X across here. Oh, look at that. It's right there in the middle. Bingo. Love when that happens. You double check yourself. Before you riggedy wreck your drawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So there's a table that's put together kind of like this one here, but in a two-point perspective.